Okay. All right, on with the show. Aloha, welcome back to Spike's Breezeway Cocktail Hour. You know, after almost like 130 something episodes, I get the question all the time about where do I start in collecting the things that I need to make excellent tiki cocktails, or any cocktails for that matter, but like things like shakers and measuring devices and strainers, all those kinds of things. And I think I have just the solution for you. From a bar above, this is the 14 piece craft bar set. I wanna do a complete unboxing with you guys to see exactly what's in this set. I am not being paid to say any of this stuff. I am not sponsored by them. There will be a coupon code if you're interested in buying this. Otherwise, let's check it out. Okay, so as we open up the box, just getting into the box, it feels like quality. It's heavy construction, nice artwork printed right on the box there. Let's go ahead and put that like that. Now it comes with this pamphlet. The pamphlet describes what's in the box, 14 pieces. So it's like a pretty comprehensive thing here. It tells you how to shake a cocktail like a pro. It says cheers at the bottom. We'll be referring to this thing as we get through the ingredients here or the, uh, the items that are contained within the box. You get some of this, uh, this black packaging stuff, which is very nice. Comes with a coaster. Let's hope that's not one of the 14 things. Although, Nice coaster, I guess. Okay, let's do the coaster over here. Now, as we get into it, the first thing that I notice is this, it's like a really heavyweight shaker tin. And it feels like there's a tin within the tin. Has the bar above logo on the bottom. I know that they pride themselves in very well-constructed bar tools. This is going to be really the first time on the show that we use shaker tin and the other part of the shaker. Usually we use a Pilsner glass because I like for you guys to be able to see the colors change as I'm adding the ingredients, but I'm excited to use tin on tin action. <laughs> I don't know, does that count for one piece or two pieces? Of course they send a julep strainer. Again, this is a very nice construction. Has their logo etched there. It feels like a good piece of bar equipment. It's meant to strain out any ice. Looks like the next piece is a Hawthorne strainer. Wow, a very fine mesh spring. The great thing about these springs is that they will seal, but then you can also push this gate forward to really strain out some of the big ice chunks. Otherwise, it's such a fine spring that you're really gonna keep a lot of the, the ice out of your cocktail. I'm already very excited about how this thing's looking. And then for a measuring tool, they send a Japanese style jigger. And on the inside, it goes from quarter ounce. What's BS? It says BS. I don't know if that's an eighth of an ounce. So this side has quarter ounce, half ounce, three quarter ounce. Then the other side has one ounce, one and a quarter ounce, one and a half ounce, and one and three quarters ounce. This is something that I will actually use. Stop rolling away. Okay. I was kind of wondering if this would be included. Look at this, a fine mesh strainer. These are great for things like daiquiris, things where you want to make sure there's absolutely no ice chips in your cocktail, especially daiquiris. It says a bar above on the label here. Let's do that like that. Look at this, a whacking stick. Now, of course, this is a muddler. Very nice construction. It feels good in the hand. It feels good in the hand this way too for Whatever you do with muddlers. I don't do a whole lot of muddling. I guess I would do that maybe for like a mojito or something, but I don't know. Good solid wood. There's some things that I just don't use and you're gonna have to uh, humor me when I'm talking about them because I don't really screw with this stuff too much. And a bar spoon. Look at this bar spoon. A very nice. Look at the end on that thing. Yeah, perfect. And I think a bar spoon is usually like an eighth of an ounce also. So in part, another measuring device added into that. I think that's everything. There is something in here. And I think this is gonna get to the craft cocktail side of things. On these little stickers, it says stainless steel cocktail picks. So let's check these guys out. Oh, comes a little spongy guy at the bottom that you can stab them into. Look at these. Sharp little bastards. Really cool. Great for martinis or lemon peels or in tiki. Well, in tiki, I think that we could use some more fun stuff like, you know, plastic swords or uh, frilly toothpicks or, uh, you know, something with like a skull on it or whatever. But as far as for classic cocktails, elegant. 
smart and elegant. Okay, so that appears to be the whole set there. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. <laughs> they count all the toothpicks in the number there. If we're gonna give this stuff a test run, I don't think there's a better cocktail to do that with than a daiquiri. So one of the things that got me when they asked if they could send me this stuff is that they are a bartender and family owned small business. So it's not something weird coming from China. All of the packaging is really nice. All of the bar tools are made out of stainless steel and welded really nicely. They look like this stuff will last. There's a guarantee that this will replace all of the bar tools in your bar, but let's give it a run. You can only trust my word for so long until you're like, well, use the damn thing. Well, let's look into the book real quick here. Okay, so there are two cocktails included here. It appears to be the Manhattan and the Daiquiri. And of course, we're gonna be making the Daiquiri. And while we don't need instructions, we're gonna go off of their recipe. This is a two, one half, three quarter recipe. So they do include a Daiquiri recipe and a Manhattan recipe in here. Uh, we will be trying their daiquiri recipe. It is two ounces of rum, three quarter ounce of lime juice, and half an ounce of simple syrup. Other than that, the daiquiri is one of those rum cocktails that you should really know how to make just off the top of your head. It should be super simple. The way that I usually do it is two ounces of rum, one ounce of lime juice, one ounce of simple syrup. That's like the simplest way to possibly do it. And I love it, especially if you're using white stash or probitas or, uh, any number of white rums, but we're gonna try their recipe tonight. Okay, so you do have to provide your own knife and we're gonna cut a lime in half. Of course, there's usually an ounce of lime juice in a lime. Three quarter ounce measurement is on the small end of this guy here. So let me see if I can just do this delicately. Wow, look at that. There's three quarters of an ounce right there. And I'm sure you're not supposed to squeeze directly into these things, but it's the way we're doing it on the show. They say to pour that into the small part of the tin. Next up is half an ounce of simple syrup. The lines inside are marked really well, so it's easy to see what you're doing. That's been my biggest put off for using a Japanese style jigger in the past, is that they're kind of complicated if you're not used to using them all the time. Now, if you work in a bar and you have like the set of them, I'm sure it gets real easy real quick. But if you're like a home bartender like I am, or a breezeway YouTube cocktail bartender like me, of course, if you were like a breezeway cocktail bartender like me, then why are, what am I doing here? Why aren't you the one here in the breezeway doing the show? Think about that. Okay, and that is gonna go into the tin. And of course you do the rum last because if you mess up, you're not throwing out rum, you're throwing out the other stuff first. But this is one of my favorite daiquiri rums, Probitas, and it comes with a cork. That's how you know it's good. Ah, and it's, it's got like this pot still funk to it, but it's still a light rum. Smells incredible. And uh, we're gonna, oh, we're gonna flip this guy over. So we're gonna do one ounce twice because it doesn't go all the way up to two ounces. Okay, so there's one ounce there. And another one ounce right there. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill the tin with ice. Oh. Let me see what it says here. Add all ingredients to the smaller mixing tin and fill two thirds of the way with ice. I'm trying to like follow that as closely as I can. Of course, we're gonna be using cubes of ice for a daiquiri. Okay, that's about two thirds of the way full with ice. Now, like we normally do, combine the two, put it on top, Smack before we shake. Then it tells you how to shake. Add ingredients to the ice with a smaller shaker cup. You got it. Place the larger cup upside down over the smaller one and whack. Oh, dude, okay, so we're supposed to do it like that and then put this on top. Okay, this is how the pros do it, apparently. Holding both cups, shake for 20 to 30 seconds. Okay, so they don't really get into the details about how you're supposed to shake, but we know that we wanna shake from the heart. <sighs> and then it says, find a spot where there's a gap between the edge of the larger shaker and the body of the smaller shaker. 
Okay, so there's the gap right there, see that? Hold the shaker firmly and whack this spot with the other hand. So, you find the gap here, you give it a little bit of a whack with the heel of your hand, and it should come loose like that. Okay, we have a very cold tin. Look at how cold that tin is. So I gotta tell you, when I was shaking that, it felt very stable in my hands, it felt like the seal was strong. I, I'm really enjoying using these things. And like I said, I'm not getting paid to tell you that. Now, here's my favorite part of a daiquiri. We're gonna use our brand new Hawthorne strainer, and we're gonna be using our brand new fine mesh strainer. And just like this, we strain. Now you can go ahead and give it like a little bit of a tap with your shaking tin. Give it a, a bit of a shake. Okay. Now before we go to drinking it, I wanna take a little lime wheel. Cut a little slit in it. And a little garnish. So, there it is. I gotta say, using those products was a joy. Nothing about those products felt cheap or sloppy or um, something that I wouldn't want to feature on the show. So I hope you guys at the very least enjoy learning about this product. If you already have your own stuff, use your own stuff. If you're looking for an alternative to one of those really expensive boutique cocktail shaker accoutrement brands, this might be the one. Cheers. It's a very good daiquiri. Very rum forward because they pulled back on the lime juice. They pulled back on the sugar. You really get a chance to taste the probitas. I would still recommend at the very least remembering a daiquiri as two ounces of rum, one ounce of lime, one ounce of simple syrup. It's as simple as that. Make sure you know that one cocktail. Like that, that should be the simplest one. And it's always that cocktail where if I'm having friends come over, or if my girlfriend and I want to have a cocktail and it's like, dude, what do, I, do I have 75 ingredients for a zombie? Not usually. Well, maybe I do. You almost always have simple syrup, lime, and like a light rum. So yeah, make that daiquiri. So folks, there's a link in the description below to our bar above. And if you type in Breezeway in the coupon code, you're gonna get yourself 10% off of your order. Uh, I would say, as a truly impartial review, I'm very pleased with this stuff. I think we're gonna be using this on the show from now on. If you think you can use more bar gear, go to a bar above. Type in Breezeway in the coupon code. And if you aren't already a member of the Patreon, join our Patreon, support the Breezeway Cocktail Hour and get this little enamel pin, as well as the opportunity to buy merch before anybody else can get it because it always sells out. So with that, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. And I will see you next week with a brand new episode all about tiki, cocktails, and culture. Aloha. Where the f*** did it go? Oh, it's over there. I get the question all the time about where do I... It's an incredible strong... Oh, uh, no, strong. So one of the things that got me... So... Hmm. No. You know what we need? I need a glass. It is two ounces of rum, three. <sighs> so you find the gap, give it a small little whack right there, comes right off. Fucking cars. That's a bitter bitch right there. That's bitter. I think it just needs like a little more sugar. It's like really bitter. What, what am I gonna do? I'm just gonna stir it in there? Nah, it's fine. Be a man. You don't need all the sugar. It's not morning breakfast when you're eight, right? It's a cocktail. This is like fancy cocktail stuff. Yeah. Okay. Bar above. I'm impressed with that. <laughs>